Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to speak about module three, lesson lesson three G, think healthy. We are going to speak about the grammar first of all. What I'm going to talk about is to to define the noun. So the grammar here is concerning with the noun and using with how much and how many, much and many, a lot of, lots of, a few and a little. Let's have a look here, first of all, for that one. Countable and uncountable nouns. What do we mean by countable and uncountable nouns? The noun concerning with the person, place, animal, and thing. So it's not an action or description or even a preposition. Because action concerning with a verb and description concerning with adjectives, preposition like on, in, or under. So, so what is the noun in this sentence? Let's think. Good. Teacher. So teacher is a noun. Let's go to the countable nouns and uncountable nouns. What is the countable nouns? Countable nouns, we can use articles. Articles like a or an. I can say a dog, a cat, and an apple, and an orange. The countable nouns, we can count these nouns. When I say I have a book, we have a book, one book. And we can have a plural from the book. We can say I have five books. We can also add at the end of the noun S or ES. When we count one, then more one, like three sisters and five students. What about uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns, we cannot use articles like A or N. We cannot use the plural at the end, S or ES or even IES. So uncountable nouns, we cannot count these nouns like happiness or sadness. These are abstract nouns. What else? Cat categories like furniture, clothes, money, fortune, information, and so on. Like some kinds of food and drinks, we cannot count these, these nouns like milk, water, juice, and chocolate. This is a, a short quiz. We have to answer together these to differentiate between the countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Okay, let's start. Pay attention. New spaghetti. Spaghetti is countable or uncountable? Hmm? Good. Spaghetti uncountable nouns. What about carrot? We can count carrot, so it is a countable noun. We can say carrot, a carrot, two carrots, and so on. What about money? Money uncountable noun. We cannot, we cannot count money as a whole. What about petrol? Petrol is liquid, so uncountable nouns. What about art? Good, uncountable noun. Look for the next word, chips. We can count the chips because it ends with S. So it's concerning with countable nouns. Furniture, uncountable, good. What about news? Aha, uh -huh, good. It's an uncountable noun, a regular noun, okay? What about snow? Snow is uncountable nouns. So we have to differentiate between countable nouns and uncountable nouns because we are going to deal with how many and how much. Look this for, of this word, sister. We can count it, yeah? So it's a countable. And we can say how many sisters. The next one. What about news? Think about it. Great. Uncountable nouns. News, countable or uncountable nouns. 
I'm counting for now, for example. So what about rats? We can count rats. So I can't say how much or how many. Good. How many rats? Bottle. What about bottle? Good. Countable. Water. Great. Uncountable. Can I say five furnitures? Is it correct or incorrect? Good. This is incorrect. Can I say five pieces of furniture? Can we add S to the end of a word? Can we add S to the end of furniture? What do you think? This is incorrect. What could I say? I could say five pieces of furniture. Is it correct? Yeah, this is correct. So which word is a noun? Think. We have go, intelligent, table, and from. Which word is a noun? Great. The table is a noun. The second one. Which word is a noun? Begin, beautiful, between book. Good, book. Which word is a noun? Was, down words, skyscraper and high. Great, good, skyscraper. Here, we're going to turn to another point of the lesson to do with much, many, and a lot of. What about much? We use much with uncountable nouns like water, juice, money. What about many? We use many for countable nouns. We can say many books. Good. Okay, so let's turn to the much and many, a lot of, much with uncountable nouns, many with countable, a lot of with both countable and uncountable. Look for these examples. You can say how much water. How much water? Look here, this how much, we use how much for uncountable. We cannot count water. So how much water do you drink? What about how many? And, and instead of using water, we can use bottles of water. So how many bottles of water? Because how many is followed by countable nouns. We can count bottles of water, but we cannot count water. The third example about a lot of. A lot of, I can say, I drink a lot of water and I drink a lots of water. We can say a lot of or lots of. As I, I mentioned before, we have a lot of and lots of. They are both the same. Look for these examples. I don't drink much water. We have much water. I don't have many friends. We have many friends here. So much water, but many friends. I can use a lot of with Sisters. Here 
here we are trying to choose the correct answer. There are many cab on the table. Try to find the answer, please. Yeah. There are many cups on the table. There are much cups on the table. There are cup on the table. There are a lot of cup on the table. Which one is correct? Good. There are many cups on the table. David has ten brother. Is it correct? Of course not. What is the correct answer? David has ten brothers. What about? What about? S at the end of the noun to be plural one. Okay, so let's move to the another sentence. Can I say I ate apple? Of course not. What could I say? I could say I ate an apple. So I I cannot say just apple. Apple we have to put an article before apple. An apple, it means one apple. And because this is a singular, we put, all, we put only an or one before the noun. She has a skirt. She has a skirt. What is the correct answer? Of course, she has a skirt. A and N, some and any. What is the difference between the three articles? Uh, we have some with countable and uncountable nouns. We can say some water or some chocolate or some boys. What about any? We can also say, I, I haven't got any friends. And I can also say, I haven't got any butter in the fridge, for example. What about A and N? A and N only for the singular, so we can all, only use for the countable nouns. For these examples, have a quick look. I have some milk. I have some biscuits. So we use some for countable Biscuits and uncountable milk. I don't have any milk. Okay. Here, we use any for negation. And we use milk, the uncountable nouns, with any. I don't have any biscuits. The same thing, we use any with negation and we use countable nouns after any. So any for both countable and uncountable nouns. Okay. So let's move to the second, the second exercise. Do we have any milk? Do we have any biscuits? We can use it in the questions too. I eat an apple a day, so we use a or an for this. This is the uh, review or the feedback of the lesson. We use singular, countable, biscuit, strawberry, onion. We use a, an. For plural, we use some, any. For countable nouns, uncountable nouns, we can also use some, any for both. So thanks a lot for this one. Um, the next exercise, very fast. Look at the fridge. What would you say? I can say there is an apple. Can say an apple. What about or? We have to say some eggs. The next one. Okay.
There is some cheese, uncountable nouns. Okay, the next one, what can you see? There is a bottle of water. There isn't or there aren't any. We can put countable or uncountable. So, yes, I have space, many money with me. Could I say I have a money, some money, any money? Great. Some money, very good. Unfortunately, they don't have soup left. What about soup? Uh, soup is uncountable noun. We cannot count soup. So we would say, I, they don't have any soup. So the answer is any. The answer is any. Okay. The answer is, I don't have any soup. Okay. Do you have, do you have a, some, any, good? Do you have any news? My granny gave me jar of homemade jam. Jar is a, a singular, so I can say only a jar of. Can you say a jar of so a jar of homemade no thank you i don't want of course any meat apple we use an apple would you like to try of course would like to try, think, would like to try some. Would like to try some chocolate. So we put some chocolate here. Okay. The next one. She hardly has. When I use hardly here, it means in negation. So what we use for negation? Of course, we use any. It's amazing. He finished his homework without asking for. Of course, we have without. So it's a mark for negation. So what would we use? Of course, we use any. Sorry, we don't have blue t-shirts in stock. Of course, we have to use. We don't have... We don't have any. We use any for the answer because, because of don't. Okay. So <clears throat> let's turn to the the book page 43 for grammar. So the last questions here, let's circle the correct words. Uh, pay attention for this exercise, please. What could we choose? Number one, how much, how many sugar do you put in your coffee? Hmm, I listen someone say, how much sugar? Very good, so the answer is how much? Number two, I haven't got I haven't got, we have negation here, haven't got, many or much money, money related to, good, much money. Number three, Frank cannot talk to you right now, she's got a lot, lots of, what a difference, a lot needs of, but we have already lots of work. Number four, this book has lots of or many information about the food. Of course, information, uncountable nouns, information, uncountable nouns, so we use lots of. Number five, much or many people prefer going on holiday in July. People is 
countable nouns, so we use many people. Number six, with a few or a little help. From my friends, I can do it. So, help. Uncountable nouns, of course, it takes a little help. Thank you very much. Until we meet again, and thank you. Goodbye.